Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So in case if you are planning to do research, if you are planning to make your career in research and want your profile to outperform from others, then one thing which can help you is building up a research experience. Now this research experience is something which can be developed and it's not that difficult but the only thing is people don't know about it even when I was in masters I was not aware about it. So I'm going to talk about it in detail. I will be talking about for those who are in master's first year, those who are in master's final year and for those who have qualified masters. So for all these three types of people I am going to talk about it and how you can basically get these research experience and what is the benefit of it. I think that I don't have to explain but let's talk about it a little bit. When you apply for, uh, for PhD or for a research position in a particular place, be it India, be it abroad, anywhere if you apply something which that particular institute or that particular professor wants from you although he will not mention that but something which they wants is is some kind of research experience uh, whether it can be in any form like it can be in form of internship it can be in, in form of a uh, small dissertation or project anything but they want that uh, research experience from you now uh, sometimes they mention that in the application itself or in the advertisement itself that they want a research experience sometimes they don't mention that but if you will be having that in your CV, if you will be telling them during the interview that yes, you have a research experience that is going to give you extra boost than others and your CV or your profile will be outperforming from others and you will be considered before them, right? And because you know that now there is a cutthroat competition, people are like so many people are JRF, everybody is on the same uh, page. So somewhere you have to outperform than others in order to get the best position or in order to get into best institute. So here I'm going to talk about that how you can build up a good research experience or how you can basically build up research experience during your masters or after your masters. So let's start from those who have who are right now in their masters first year. So those who have just joined masters, uh, passed their bachelors and they are in master first year. That means in first semester or second semester. In that case, see the the chances or the the ability to get research experience will be very less because right now you are in a particular phase where you are budding. You don't know much about uh, what's going on, what is going to happen. You are not even aware about that what is your research interest. You don't know which topic you are interested in. You actually not been taught all the topics yet, right? So all, everything you are not even aware about. So what you can do right now is you can attend different symposiums. You can attend different workshops, different seminars, uh, whatever is being organized in your institute or in nearby institutes if they are uh, at uh, like if they are calling at a minimal cost go over there attend them and if it is in your institute definitely you should attend that see these seminars these symposiums these workshops they are there to help you out to see when you sit you listen to the scientists you listen to people who are doing research who are doing good in their field they explain their work they tell about their field in order like when you do that you learn so many things over there you get to know that what exactly is going on in the world what exactly is going on in the other labs what type of research is going on maybe maybe over there you you like something and you end up doing your research overall your life dedicating your whole research life on that so sometimes it happens that uh, you sit in a, a seminar or you sit in a symposium and over there somebody is speaking about his or her work and you listen to that and you get so much uh, affected by it or you get so much motivated by it that you plan that yes I will also do research in the same field so that's one of the benefits second benefit is that of course you will be making uh, connections you will be meeting people you will be talking to so many scientists so many people or like you even just by looking into them even just by seeing their work it motivates a lot right in in case if you don't get a chance to meet them but still like so many things you can learn from these things and yes you can include that in your profile as well when you will be writing your thesis you can include that that yes you have done workshop on this and this topic or you have attended this and this seminar so every good institute wherever you are doing masters all the universities all iits isers all of these they have they conduct uh, yearly seminars they conduct yearly symposiums they conduct yearly workshops on different different topics different different subjects so try to attend them okay that is going to help you further right you might think that it's time waste why to sit and listen to someone but trust me it's very useful and you will get uh, to know a lot many things when you attend these things right so that's for those students who are in their first year of masters and you can't do much more things uh, you can just start 
from here so that you start getting little bit of uh, research and what's going on and like you just get a gist of it right now let's talk about those who are in the final year of master now those who are in final year of masters you of course you have to attend all these workshops uh, symposium seminars which first year students are doing that you have to do apart from them you have one more chance that is you can attend summer uh, internships right so when uh, you are in between of your uh, first year and second year that means when you have the the holidays of third and uh, sorry second and th third semester uh, during that time mostly all the iits all the isers they conduct uh, like uh, internships okay for that you have to apply on them right you have to keep, uh, keep looking their website you have to see that when they are uh, when the form is coming up you have to fill those form you have to apply over there and they earlier they used to be offline after covid some of them started taking online uh, internship and again they have converted it to offline so uh, once you do this offline internship again that is going to give you a good gist of what type of work is being done you will get some research experience you will meet scientists you will meet professors you will get to know what type of work is being done in that particular institute so this is something which you should never miss out okay i missed out during my masters because nobody was there to tell me but i am here to tell you so if you are in the masters final year or if you are uh, in the first year wait for it and just keep an eye on these whatever positions are coming up right whatever these internship positions are coming up now uh, in the masters final year uh, in the final semester of masters in many institutes there is a provision of dissertation or uh, research experience they they go into the labs and this and they uh, do research for or they, they they just join the lab and they they work with the uh, the scholars which are there in the lab for the rest of the six month or four month of the last four month of their msc and they try to learn what and what goes in the research field what goes in the research lab how a research is being carried out so try to do that very sincerely because that is the time where you can again learn the things you can learn research ethics you can learn what type of work is being done how our work is being carried out so many things you can learn over there as well so it's a good exposure in case if in your institute there is no provision like this like just like in my institute there was no provision like this so in that case the best thing is to join some internship uh, and uh, like give that time to that particular internship and that is going to be helpful for you right so the fi uh, final year students have this uh, opportunity those who are msc qualified or msc pass out for them they have very less internships which are organized or which are basically come up so for them i don't think they will be having this opportunity or they they won't be having this chance of joining internship in different institute but they have one another chance so let's say if you are a, someone who has qualified master who has done his masters and now he is uh, like you are preparing for the upcoming exam you're preparing for csr net you are preparing for any of these entrance exam and want to take admission in some research institute during this particular time the best thing or the best way how you can gain some research experience is by joining some project now in many places if you plan to join as a project assistant there are certain uh, like uh, eligibility criteria over there they generally ask for jrf qualified or they ask for gate qualified at least or they ask for net qualified that is also being done because of you now high competition uh, so many people want to do uh, project so that's why they have put up some some criteria over there but uh, what i will suggest is keep looking upon them if you see that just apply it make a good uh, research proposal make a good statement of purpose make a good cv and just uh, send that cv or send that uh, research proposal to that particular professor and uh, uh, if if that is impressive enough you will be selected for project assistant now project assistant is something which can go from six months to one year of uh, duration so during this duration you will be learning so many things of course you will be doing proper research how a research scholar is being done in the same way you will be also doing over there just the thing is that your position will not be permanent it will be temporary position you will be given stipend as well of course and second thing is that during that time you will be developing connections you will be meeting different people over there maybe the lab in which you are doing project maybe your project is converted into phd if you are performing good in your project so that is also one of the possibility and that is one of the way also uh, by which many people join uh, csir labs or different institute or iits and later on they convert their project into their phd and they start uh, doing phd so that is also one of the way so uh, now i'll try to make a dedicated video on it that how you can make a proper cv how you can make a proper research proposal how you can make a proper statement of purpose how you should approach a professor for uh, for 
project assistant position so that thing i i think that is a detailed thing and i will be making a separate video on it in case if you want that please do let me know in the comment sections below but yeah uh, if you want to get a position as a project assistant somewhere the best thing is to write down a mail okay many people hesitate in writing it you have to ask the other person sometimes the person does not even uh, advertises his research position or project assistant position but since let's say let's say because you are masters qualified you must have developed your research interest you must know that in which field you want to do research by now okay so if that is clear to you try to search out professors of that particular field try to search out people who are in that particular field mail to them okay write a mail to them stating that you are interested in so and so topic and you are interested or you are impressed by their work and you want to join their lab and work under them uh, work under their supervise supervision so uh, write it in a convincing manner so that the other person get convinced out of it i'll be making a video if you guys will ask me in a detailed manner that how to write these mails and once you write this mail keep writing it to different different professors all the professors in your field someone is going to reply you more than one will be able to reply you so then choose among them and apply and join a particular place work as a project assistant instead of sitting at home and preparing for the exam it's the better way to join as a project assistant and prepare for the exam simultaneously that will be a much better way of utilizing your time and getting some research interest and you know not wasting the time in any way there are people i have seen that they prepare they keep preparing for the exam after their masters two years three years and they don't do anything as such okay so it's a better way to join as a project assistant somewhere that's the best thing you, which you can do instead of going in some other field if you want to stick and if you are interested and if you are serious enough in in doing research that's the best thing which you can do with yourself join as a project assistant apply as a project assistant and write mail and write to the professors as i said okay so these are some ways by which you can uh, gain some research interest gain some research experience and you can definitely write down all these things in your cv you can definitely write these down in your uh, whenever you are applying or whenever you are giving an interview and it gives a very good impress impression to the other person and um, in future i'll be making video on how you can apply uh, in abroad as a phd scholar or in india as a phd scholar or how you should write down a research proposal so many things we'll be discussing about so these things will be um, basically taken care of on those videos that means if you have done all these things it will be a positive point for you and in that case it will be easy for you to apply in all these positions so that's it for this video i thought of sharing these things so that you can start because this is the time when you can you can start applying for all these things these are like new semesters have begun so like a lot of seminar and symposiums are going on so you should not miss out them that's why i made this video i hope this video makes sense i hope you understood few things i hope you learned few things if you have any question you can ask them down in the comment section below that's it from my side for this particular video thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care